Hi, I'm JJ Huggins, staff writer at the Eagle Tribune. It's Thursday, April 29th, and this is what's happening here in the newsroom. We have reported on numerous stories over the years about thieves stealing copper. Well, today on the Haverhill section of our website, you'll find a story about a Haverhill father and son who allegedly stole manhole covers from a construction site on Wheeler Street in Methuen. Methuen police said a witness to the theft of three covers worth $2,000 gave a description of the two men in the truck they were driving. That allowed investigators to track these men to the Haverhill home. Methuen police identified these two men as Harvey Swieger, 61 years old, and Michael Swieger, 34 years old, both of 440 North Ave in Haverhill. The men will be summoned to Lawrence District Court to face a charge of larceny over $250. The lead story in the paper today is about the town meeting in Andover last night. At the meeting, voters rejected an attempt to turn more than 600 streetlights back on. The attempt to turn the lights back on was made by this man, uh, Mayflower Road resident Chester Darling. He's legally blind, and uh, him and, and other proponents of this move said this would have improved safety in the town. Um, but. People who wanted to keep the lights off argued that it saves the town money. In fact, it saves about $40,000 to keep these lights off. In all, voters moved through 29 of 56 Warren articles during the opening night of the annual meeting. Town meeting resumes at 7 p.m. tonight at the Andover High School Fieldhouse. Reporter Jonathan Phelps will be there to cover the meeting, so please check back here to find out what happens. To find out what happened last night, uh, you can check the paper, you can check our website, and we have a whole breakdown of what was approved and what was not approved out of the 29 Warren articles. As part of our ongoing coverage of the saga of fired Lawrence School Superintendent Wilfredo Leboy, we have a story today about how Leboy will be allowed to clean out his office this weekend, but will have to bring his own boxes and packaging tape. City officials agreed to let Leboy, who was fired April 8th and is facing fraud and embezzlement charges, into the school administration building to retrieve his belongings this Saturday, but only if he is observed by two school security officers. The city had refused LeBoy's request to provide the boxes and packaging tape. LeBoy has six hours from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. to remove his professional materials, books, photographs, artifacts, and the academic regalia he accumulated over his 10 years as a superintendent of the Lawrence Public Schools. LeBoy wanted more time to do this. He had asked for two weekend days to clear his office. You can find all these stories and more online now at eagletribune.com.